Okay, the first modification we're going to do is uh, drill our second gear ply and our third gear ply in our separator plate. This plate happens to be a B&M plate from a shift kit. In this application they wanted it drilled to 3 16 of an inch in both of these holes. Um, you can take your stock separator plate. You won't, ha you won't have to buy a kit. So this is, um, as you can see, second gear apply is this hole here and third gear apply is this hole here. Now if you want to go for all out racing you can go ahead and drill it to 3 16 of an inch. Um, for instance if you're going for the street strip application you don't want it shifting as hard uh, you can go smaller so for instance you could go to 125 on the second gear and 140 on the third gear or if it was a tow vehicle go 90 thou here and then uh, go up to 110 here soften the shifts up a little bit so they're not as neck breaking as in a race transmission okay the next modification we want to do is uh, this piston is usually in here and there's a spring underneath of it and there's a c-clip that holds the assembly in there. What you want to do is clamp this in a vise. Then you'll be able to, once you get the piston down low enough, you'll be able to take the C clip out. Go ahead and throw the spring away. And then go ahead and put your piston back in with the C clip. Eliminating the spring. So at that point, you can go ahead and put your C clip in here. And the next thing we want to do is this passage right here. We're going to tap that 5 16 If you can see. I've put a plug in here. A set screw. So I went and purchased a 5 16 set screw. Drilled the hole. And tapped it. So basically you're going to go ahead and... Uh, drill that out and tap it with that that new set screw now you, you have to be sure that when you tap that 5 16 and get that set screw in there I would put some thread locker on it and make sure that it's below the surface here and not protruding up high enough that it's going to not allow the valve body to seal and what this is going to do it's going to firm up your 2 3 shift it's all going also going to firm up your 1 2 shift so that's a free modification. The next modification we want to do is we're going to pull out the 1 2 shift valve, which goes in this location in the valve body here. We're going to pull out the aluminum housing and the 1 2 shift valve, and you'll see these pins. All it is is this goes in the valve body this way, and there's a pin that goes through and locks that into place you can see here and if you just put some pressure on it and then push that pin out the whole assembly will come out you can work it out with a very small screwdriver get the valve the housing and the valve out and then what we want to do is you see this land here on the one two shift valve normally this would be circular I've ground a half, a flat on each side of the valve and then on each side of the valve here if you can see this would normally be circular so we're going to grind a flat here and a flat here we're going to deburr all that because this valve has to make sure that it moves freely in this bore then we're going to go ahead and there's an exhaust valve in this right here which I've drilled out to 7 seconds of an inch and then if you deburr that and just take it out a little bit more with your uh, drill bit, not too much so you've got to be careful. And at that point you can take one of the check balls which came out of your valve body. You're going to have one left over, you're not going to be installing it. And we're going to go ahead and take that and drive this check ball into here and block that passage. Now at that point what that's going to do is um, 
you can have manual low with that up to any RPM. Now what you have to be careful of is you can also downshift into first gear at any RPM but you're not going to have any band in there to stop. There's no application of the band because of the, we've taken the spring out of the accumulator here. So it, the engine is freewheeling. There's no brake that the band is going to apply which it normally would. So you have to be careful of the RPM that you're doing that you're shifting down in because you could do an engine damage if you say went from third gear to first gear and you're say say you're revving at 4000 RPM and all of a sudden you pull it into first gear you could have you could have problems so you have to be careful